Wow, good morning. Welcome to Power to Triumph. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. This is a special edition, a tribute to all our mothers, as you can see from my background, Power to Triumph Mother's Day edition. Shall we lift up our hands and I say happy, happy Mother's Day. Thank you for giving me the world. Um, now, thank God for all our mothers. Thank God because you're a gift to our world. You're a gift to our lives as men uh, all over the world. And I'm not sure there's any man who does not value the woman or the mother or the girl or the daughter in their lives. And so we give glory to God. On behalf of all our mothers, shall we rise up this morning? Let's give glory to God. Let's magnify his holy name. Let's say, Father, thank you for motherhood. Thank you for the gift of motherhood. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for this beautiful hour. We bless your name. We praise you. We worship you. We honor you. We adore you. We magnify your holy name. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the praise. In the name of Jesus, are we thanking God some more this morning? Let's rise up. Let's give glory to God for making this beautiful day, for making our mothers, for all our mothers, our daughters, our sisters, our aunties. Let's give glory to God for the life of mother, mothers all around us. Father, we thank you for womanhood. We celebrate womanhood that you made women in our world. Lord, it is only you who could have done this. We return all the glory. We bless your name. We praise you, we worship you, we honor you, we adore you, we magnify your holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ, who can we compare with among the gods? There is none like thee. Thank you, Father, for another Mother's Day this year. Thank you for all our mothers under the sound of my voice this morning. We give you praise, we bless your name, we worship you, we honor you. We adore you. We thank you. Now let's begin to speak into this day. Let's begin to speak into this weekend. Not just today. Into the weekend. Prophesy. As Ezekiel said, I prophesied as I, I was commanded. And as he prophesied, the bones, there was a movement. There was a shift that happened. Prophecies causes shift in the spirit realm. So you want to see a shift? Now prophesy. I prophesy to the life of every woman under the sound of my voice. It shall go well for you, with you. God Almighty will cause his name to be glorified in your life. Everything that is attempting to hold you back from being the one who God has made you to be, I cancel by the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree the glory of God covers you. The hand of the Almighty God rests upon you. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed today, tomorrow, and forever. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every agenda of the devil around your life. I cancel it by the blood of the Lamb. I cancel Satan's agenda around your life. I cancel Satan's agenda around the life of any mother under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, and I decree the glory of God will cover you. Now let's prophesy into this weekend, into this day, and the rest of this day. And I decree in the name of Jesus, the remaining 18 hours in this day shall go well for you. It shall God will raise for you destiny helpers. The hand of the Almighty God will rest upon you and His glory will cover you in your going out, in your coming in and everything that you do in the name of Jesus Christ. The glory of God covers you and His hand be upon you in the name of Jesus. You are blessed and highly favored of God in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Wow. Good morning. Welcome one more time to Part to Triumph. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It's a day of glad tidings. It's a day of the favor and the mercy of the Lord. A day that the favor of God profusely abounds around you in the name of Jesus. And I decree every heart desire for every mother, everyone under the sound of my voice this morning, the Lord will put it in your hand. His glory will cover you. His hand shall be mighty upon you. And His goodness shall be your portion all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. So we celebrate you on this day. It's a beautiful idea to have a day that will celebrate our mothers. And so we want to celebrate our, all our mothers. Happy Mother's Day to you from me and from all men around in the name of Jesus Christ. May the name of the Lord be glorified in your life in Jesus' name. So we're just going to be taking, this is a special edition. It's just it's dedicated to all our mothers to celebrate you and to let you know that you're very valuable in, the, in our lives as men. You are very valuable. And I can't imagine a world that is void of women. Whoa! That is where there is no woman. My goodness. It's going to be colorless. It's going to be just one color 
is going to be, I don't know how to describe it, because I look at my life and I say, wow, thank God for the life of my wife and uh, mother in the Lord. Uh, Mama Fola Adini, mm, the Lord bless you. You are such a blessing, sweetheart. The Lord bless you and continually cause his face to shine upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, brethren, this morning, God is faithful. This special edition, uh, we are going to be still, we are still going to be receiving the word of God. We're going to be praying for our mother. So at this point, I will strongly uh, ask every one of us, um, according to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, look at what the scripture says. Is it for the word of God is quick, whoa, powerful, go oh, sharper, mm. than any two edged sword, piercing, calabar, oh, sharp, even to the dividing asunder of spirit, soul, spirit and soul, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Wow. Five adjectives for the word of God. Let me take the first one. He said it is quick. Can you see that? <laughs> Number two, it's, it's powerful. Number three, it's very sharp. Number four, it can pierce. Number four, it can discern. Wow. What a beautiful adjective and narrative of the word of God. So, brethren, let's ask for that word this morning. Open my eyes to see that quick, powerful, sharp, discerning word. And um, piercing word in the name of Jesus. Let the word penetrate every area of my spirit, soul, and body, and my joints and marrow, my soul, my in spirit, my the intent and the the, the, the thoughts of my, and my intent in the name of Jesus Christ. And let there be victory across all this platform of my life as I subscribe to that word this morning. Send that word my way, Jesus. Send your word my way, Jesus. Send your word my way, Jesus. I receive that word, deep and incisive word, which is able to build me up and give me a future and a hope. I thank you, Father. I give you praise and bless your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So one more time, happy, happy Mother's Day to all our mothers. Uh, no, grandmother, great-grandmothers, grandmothers, mothers, aunties cousins, nieces, um, and all of you out there, sisters, the Lord God bless you, cause his face to shine upon you. If you're a woman, we are celebrating you today. We're celebrating womanhood, we're celebrating motherhood, and thank God for our mothers because you're a gift to our world. I can't imagine a world where there is no woman. No, it's going to be dull, it's going to be uninteresting, it's going to be boring, <laughs> colorless. Thank God for your lives. You add color. Ooh, you bring beauty. You bring designs. You bring variety to our world. We give God all the glory for your life. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Now, brethren, three quick words this morning as we celebrate our mothers. Three quick words from the book of Proverbs, chapter 31. And um, the first of it is in verse Proverbs, chapter 1, 10 to 31. The first of it is in verses 10 to 12. Look at what it says. See that subtitle, The Virtuous Wife. Who can find a virtuous wife? Mm. For her worth is far above rubies. The heart of her husband safely trusts her, so he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. Wow, can you see that? That's the virtue in a godly woman. That's who God made you to be, woman. Don't look down on yourself. Don't see yourself as worthless. No, don't. Don't you ever see yourself as worthless. See yourself as valuable, who God made you. Look at those descriptions. Who can find her? She is far, her worth is far above rubies. Do you know what rubies are? Very expensive material. The Bible says the value of a woman is far above that. I pray for you that you begin to see yourself the way God sees you. That's all how God sees you. Very valuable, highly priced. I decree in the name of Jesus, you will see yourself in that light. And you begin to walk in the light of that in Jesus' name. Look at it. Say, the heart of her husband safely trusts her and he will have no lack of gain. Mm. I thank God for Mama Fola. Trusted, loved, beloved, sweetheart. Hallelujah. That's how I think every man feels about their woman. They, you can trust her. You can just get her, just leave it with her. Boom, it's done. It's done. 
Look at it. She does him good, not evil, all the days of her life. That's who God the women are. They always do good, not evil. If there is any woman that does evil, it's because the enemy infiltrates. So now I stand upon the authority of the word of God and say every agenda of Satan over every woman I Curse in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out. Take your dirty hands off this woman of God. This women of God whom God have created for beauty in Jesus' precious name. So God made you for beauty. He made you for excellence. He made you for empowerment. Don't look at yourself less. Please, I beg of you, don't look at yourself less. You are, worth, you are a woman of worth. You have value before God. Don't look at yourself less. Please, don't allow the enemy to cheat you in Jesus' name. Let me read what I wrote. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I said, Proverbs has a lot to say about women. How fitting that the book ends with, the, with a picture of a woman of strong character, great wisdom, many skills, and great compassion. That's a godly woman. She has strong character. She has great wisdom. She's full, many-sided skills. And great compassion. One time the Lord showed me the image of a woman using, uh, you know, so I was at a construction site and I was looking at the badgers, the big bulldozers, all of those things that they use at construction sites. I said, that's how a woman is. So she comes into the life of any, any man with her tools equipped, empowered to do exploits. That's who a woman is. A true godly woman whose heart is in the Lord, whose heart is with the Lord, is full of those virtues, and she comes loaded to help any man. So, please, all our men, I pray that the Lord will help us to continue to have value for these uh, women and continue to, you know, support them to be who God has called them to be in the name of Jesus. They are women of great, strong character, great wisdom, many skills, and great compassion. I pray. For every woman under the sound of my voice, you will not be less than this description, how the Bible describes you in Jesus' precious name. Second quick word this morning as we go to pray uh, is in verses 13 to 16. Look at it. Look at what it says. It says, she seeks wool and flax. Wow. And willingly walks with her hands. Whoa. She is like a merchant ship. She brings her food from afar. She also rises while it is yet night. And she provides food for her house, her household and a portion for her maidservants. She considers a field and buys it from her profits. She plants a vineyard. Wow! What a description. So she goes. Now that's why you see mothers. They will never buy it something from one place. They just shop around. Let's check here. Let's check that price. Let's get the best price, best value, and best worth. You know, that money that they want to use, they want to use it optimally. And I'm all, I'm all shook at it. My soul bless every woman. Party, uh, uh, starting with my wife, Pastor Faladini. The Lord bless you. The Lord causes his face to shine upon you. And I use this point to pray for all women that in the name of Jesus, you are blessed. The hand of the Lord will rest upon you. As you continue to bless your home, bless your world, and be value and woman of worth, I decree in the name of Jesus that the blessing of the Almighty God will rest upon you. I pray for you that you will not, every sorrow in the heart, say the heart, say, I curse in the name of Jesus Christ. And I release you to go and fulfill that which God has called you to. You have a lot that the world is waiting for. You have a lot to contribute to your world. So please, you are a woman of worth. Bring the value. Bring everything that God has put in you. Put it on the table. And I see God's hand rest upon you and his glory cover you. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed and highly favored of God. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Let me read what I wrote on that passage. So, I said, Some people have, mis have the mistaken idea that the ideal woman in the Bible is retiring, several, and entirely domestic. Not so. This woman is an excellent wife and mother. She is also a manufacturer, importer, manager, realtor, Farmer, streamstress, opposer, and merchant. Wow, just one person? <laughs> just one person. Her strength 
and dignity do not come from her amazing achievements. However, they are the result, they are a result of our reverence for God. Can you see that? That's why I underline that. Every godly woman has a godly fear. That's why you see them. They always, when it comes to prayer, to study the word, they're in church, they're always there. They want God, more of God. Because there is a part of you that is like God. God says, can a woman forget her suckling child and she will not remember the child of her womb? He said, they may forget, but I will not forget. So God is saying, I'm a mother. I'm a mother. Just that same attribute I put in mothers, I have it. So you are like God, women. You are like mothers. You are like God. And so that part of you that is always godly, seeking God. Look at it. I said, they are a result of her reverence for God. In our society where physical appearance counts so much, it may surprise us to realize that her appearance is never mentioned. Her attractiveness comes entirely from her character. So every godly woman is first a woman of strong character. That's how you are known, not by anything else. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus, every mother under the sound of my voice, you'll be a woman of strong character in the name of Jesus. You will not lose your place. You will not miss your place in destiny in Jesus Precious name, amen. Third quick word as we go to pray this morning. It's in verse 23 to 26. All of those verses are so important, but I just selectively put this ones. Verse 23 to 26. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them and supplies sashes for the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom and her tongue. On her tongue is the law of kindness. So that's who a true mother is. Godly. Have you listened to a godly woman speak? My, when Pastor Fuller is counseling, godly counsel by the Spirit of God. It's just in every mother that is connected to heaven. Connected to God. When you are truly connected to God as a mother, there is a godly virtue that is released in the inside of you that just brings out that part of God in your life. You are like God. You are more like God than the men, than the men are. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. You want to pray, you want to study, you want to go to church. You know, you just want more of God. Praise God. Please keep it up. The Lord strengthen you in Jesus' name. Let me read what I wrote as we go to pray. So, I said, the woman described in this chapter has outstanding abilities. Wow. Her family's social position is high. In fact, she may not be one woman at all. Why do I say that? Those attributes are so many. It will take a long, a lifelong for a woman to be able to achieve. But listen to what I said. So I said, in fact, she may not be one woman at all. She may be a composite portrait of ideal womanhood. Yes, composite. In other words, bring several parts together and put them together. Do not see her as a model to imitate in every detail. Yes. Your days are not long enough to do everything she does. She ha See her instead as an inspiration to be all you can be. We can't be just like her, but we can learn from her industry, integrity, and resourcefulness. So every woman has integrity, has industry, has resourcefulness. May you be that woman described here in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you blessed this morning? I pray for all our mothers that anything that makes you short of what Proverbs 31 describes, it's an aberration and doesn't want you to fulfill destiny. I cut it short in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you that you fulfill destiny in grand style in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you blessed this morning? Let's lift up our hands. Let's appreciate God. Thank God for our mothers. Thank God for womanhood. And pray for them that the hand of the Almighty God will rest upon them in Jesus' name. So this morning prayer is also dedicated to all our mothers. And um, I'm going to be leading us in personal supplication. Um, personal supplication. If you have a prayer request or praise report, you can type it in. But I'm going to be leading us in these prayers that I've designed for our mothers. From Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 to 3. Here's what it says. Look at it. 
He says, Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Whatever will stop any one mother or any woman under the sound of my voice from arising, from sitting down, I'm taking a position, not wanting to get up. I curse in the name of Jesus Christ. I take that dirty hands of the devil off you. Be released in the name of Jesus. Go into what God has called you to do. Be who God wants you to be in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that the hand of the Almighty God will rest upon you in Jesus' name. Now, let's, let me read as we go to pray. Now, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you. And the Gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising in the name of Jesus. That's what God will do for you. The hand of the Almighty God will locate you. His glory will cover you and be upon you in Jesus' name. So based on that scripture, we're going to be praying like this. We're going to take about four or five prayer points praying for our mothers. So we're going to come against every gate of hell that threatens the motherhood of anyone under the sound of my voice. Anything that threatens your motherhood is a threat against God. So now we come against it. Now I join force with all our mothers. Let's raise our voice. All our mothers on this platform this morning, we raise our voice in, in unison and we say everything that is coming against the motherhood of anyone under the sound of my voice, I curse in the name of Jesus Christ. And I say you will be who God wants you to be, valuable, precious, resourceful, integrity, in the name of Jesus, full of industry, in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is short of this is an aberration. I curse in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, second quick prayer. Let's pray for all our mothers. Come against every mental and self-imposed limitation. The real limit limitation comes from here, comes from the mind. When your mind limits you, no matter what theories, force, that wants to come from outside, you can't rise. So this morning, we come against every self-imposed mental limitation on any woman under the sound of my voice. I command that limitation, be moved, be shifted by the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus Christ. I release you from that mental holdback or mental meltdown in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and be who God wants you to be in Jesus' precious name. Third quick prayer for all our mother's favor of God that supernaturally grants access to high places. Rise of destiny, help us. Let's pray for our mothers. I pray for every mother under the sound of my voice. You will rise to where God wants you to be. You'll be who God wants you to be. The glory of the Lord will cover you. The hand of the Almighty God will, will be upon you. In the name of Jesus. And God will grant every heart desire and meet you at a point of need. In the name of Jesus. He will give you access. Favor, 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 favor. In the name of Jesus, that will take you to high places in life. And everything that God has called you to be, you will be it. In the name of Jesus. You will achieve it. You will be an achiever to the glory of God in Jesus' precious name. And God will raise for you destiny helpers that will grant you access to high places in Jesus' name. Fourth quick prayer point for all our mothers. Protection, provision, and promotion. See, when you are connected to God, he provides for you, he protects you, and he promotes you. So let's pray for all our mothers. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all our mothers and all the women, women under the sound of my voice, that they will be truly connected to you. And as they are connected, Lord, in the name of Jesus, you meet them at their point of needs. You provide for them, you promote them, you will protect them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, one final prayer. Let's pray for your family, all our mothers. I pray for your husband. I pray for your children. I pray in the name of Jesus that the hand of the Almighty God will rest upon the entire household over your husband, over your children. I cover all of you with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I decree that the glory of the Lord will be your portion in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Almighty God will establish you and perfect all that concerns you in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father. We give you praise. We bless your holy name in Jesus' precious name. I decree peace over you, over your household, over everything that belongs to you, Mother. God will grant your heart desire. Sometimes I feel your pain. I grew up with four sisters and I know what they go through sometimes. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, every pain in your soul is released. 
The power of the Lord Almighty God will rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. To God alone be all the glory. So happy Mother's Day to all our mothers. And Mama Fola Adini, I love you so much. And I thank God for your life. And all of us at Job of Flow will say happy Mother's Day. And to all our mothers around the globe, happy Mother's Day. May you fulfill that which God has for you. You shall fulfill destiny in grand style. The glory of the Lord will cover you. In Jesus' precious name, amen. So to that end, at Joy Overflow International Church, over this weekend, we're going to be celebrating all our mothers. So please do not miss this meeting for any reason. If you're in town, join us at 2013-39 Avenue, Northeast Calgary. And if you're not, you can join us via Joy Overflow International Church Facebook page or Sony Adeni Ministries channel on YouTube. Whoa, May 8th, this Sunday. 9.30 to 11. Mm, 11.30, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's Mother's Day, and um, uh, it will go beyond 11.30 for sure. But 9.30 a.m. we begin. So that's it. I'll put it on screen as we go on. Now, uh, let's quickly wrap up this morning. Let's take my daily protection covenant declaration. If you're ready as I am, shall we go? Because I dwell in the secret place of the Most High, I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he's my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers and under his wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I will not be afraid. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh me. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the wicked rewarded, because I made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, my habitation. There shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come near my dwelling, for God shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall I trample under feet, because I have set my love upon God. Therefore will he deliver me. He will set me on high, because I have known his name. I shall call upon him. He will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. With long life will God satisfy me and show me his salvation. So shall it be for me and my household today and forever. Amen and amen. As you have declared, so God has done for you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. It is well with your going out. It is well with you all through this weekend. Today, tomorrow, and the next. The Lord will preserve you and cause his face to shine upon you. As we celebrate our mothers this weekend, anything of sorrow is separated from you. It shall not come near you. In the name of Jesus, only the goodness of God, only the mercy of God shall be your portion. You are blessed and highly favored of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So if you have a prayer request or a praise report, share it with the people of God. And God's, God's name be with you. So the next time we meet is Monday morning, 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Calgary time. Interpret that time in your zone and join us. And the hand of the Almighty God be upon you. So on behalf of all, from all of us at Joe Overflow International Church, with a happy Mother's Day, Mama Fola. God bless you. The Lord's face shine upon you. And to all our mothers in the house, God bless you. Happy, happy, happy Mother's Day. May you be happy and blessed and joyful all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. May the glory of the Lord cover you in your going out and coming in. And just like we have prayed, anything that wants to stop your motherhood is stopped on your behalf in the name of Jesus. And the glory of the Lord rest upon you. You are blessed and highly favored of God and the hand of the Almighty God be with you in Jesus' name. With Jesus' joy shall we together share the covenant from Psalm 16 verse 11. Let's go. God will show me the path of life for in his presence is the fullness of my joy. And at his right hand are my pleasures forevermore. Peace, love, and joy. Shout the second one out loud. My glory is here. No loss, no pain. No shame, no loss, no pain, no shame for you forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
and what I am waiting for your testimony. What do you say? I shall testify in the name of Jesus. Let's take that one more time. I am waiting for your testimony. What do you say? I shall testify in Jesus' name. Very shortly, you'll be sharing your testimony. The world will be celebrating you in the name of Jesus Christ. And what will God do for you in 2022? God will overturn, overturn, and overturn. It will get to my turn, and the Lord will give it to me. Now, for all our mothers, what are you saying? For yourself in 2022, God will overturn, overturn, and overturn it. It will get to my turn, and it will give it to me in the name of Jesus. You are blessed and highly favored. I will leave that flyer going. And so please join us at Joy Overflow International Church, Calgary, uh, 2013-39 Avenue, Northeast, as we celebrate mothers and all our uh, womanhood in general, in the name of Jesus. You are blessed and highly favored of God. The Lord preserve you, cause his face to shine upon you. See you again Monday morning, 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Calgary time, interpret that time in your zone and join us. The peace of the Almighty God be with you. Thank you for coming. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful weekend, enjoying the goodness and mercy of God in Jesus' precious name. Thank you for coming. I will leave the flyer on. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Peace. <music>